So here's what you have to do to get your standalone version of Instapop mobile web app to work. So once you download the standalone.zip file, after you unzip, here's the contents of the zip file. And the first thing you want to do is to edit this file, passwordprotect.php. So if you open it up, you want to find this line over here, um, which contains the login information. And you can see that it's currently set to a default of John12345 is the password. So you would like you would want to change this to your own login and password. So after you've um, changed the login information, you have to upload all of um, the the uh, files and folders in the zip file, including the password protect um, file that you've just edited, and you have to upload all of them to your um, server. So I've already done that and so I'll just simply show you um, what you get when you go ahead and access the, um, the site. So here's what you get when you first um, access the site, the uh, login screen and just enter the login information that you specified um, just just then in the password protect file. So here I'm just going to use the default login and password and this should take me into um, the, the uh, Instapop mobile web app settings page which has four tabs the pop-up settings, app icon, startup screens and the app settings so I'm just gonna quickly just change a few things. So the box color, let's give this black box color, um, white text. For and I'll, I'll leave the icon checked. For the custom text message for install, I'll simply leave this blank. So it will simply use the default message. But for the custom text message after install, I actually do want to specify something like click on this awesome say link now. And you know I can enter a link to whatever site that I wish to. In this case I'll simply go to Google but you can enter whatever you like. So just say link. So click on this awesome link now. And then there's a link. Um, so I'll leave the rest as it is. And I'll generate code. So you have to copy this code generated uh, onto your, onto the head section of your HTML um, file. So before I do that, let me just show you what um, the site looks like. So here's my iPhone simulator. This is the Ali G site, the mobile version of the site. So it's all fully functional. You can see all the products, uh, the welcome message, if you click on the about link, it takes you to some about information, Ali G, that's me. Um, yeah, so it's all fully working. So what I'm going to do is to add the pop-up um, by copying this code onto um, basically the source code um, of this index.html. So here's my index.html. So here's the head section. So I'll just paste all of that code generated uh, 
into the head section of the HTML uh, file. So let's see what happens if I go back to my uh, sites and refresh to see if the pop-up comes up and it does. Install this web app on your iPhone tab this icon and then add to home screen. So let's do that right now. Click on it, add to home screen, uh, give it a name, let's just say Ali G, add, comes up. And if I click on this, that's the start screen. And here is the custom message that I entered um, on my second text box. So click on this awesome link now. Click. Brings me to google.com. So you can see that it's all working and all you needed to make it work was to just copy and paste um, the code generated for you. So very, very um, easy process to, to convert your existing uh, mobile site into um, a mobile web app. So hope you found this video to be useful and helpful and I'll see you in the next video.